So a few things about seeing the aura and energy, because a few people have messaged me telling me about things that are happening and I'm very happy. And the question is from them, what next? Or I'm seeing this etheric around a person, how do I see more? And the thing is, of course, practice, practice, that we all know, but it's more than that, because the atmosphere in which we are practicing makes a very big difference. So that part in us that has the ability to see into this other spectrum of energy, it needs to know that we are happy that it's doing this. Because for so many years, we had no contact with it. And it just thought, well, he doesn't need me. So once you start seeing, you want to do a few things. One is to tell yourself, wow, I'm seeing and I want more of this. Now say it out loud so you actually hear it from outside in. It's not enough to think it. Now, when you say that, your system understands this is something it should try to give you more of. Another thing is the ecology, because in order to really see well, you want the air to become electric. So if you're looking and you're seeing this etheric, try to look between you and the person. Look at the air itself, not at the person. And you might start to see like a soup or a more thickening of the energy in the air. And when that happens, and really the atmosphere gets more and more charged, you'll be able to see certain aspects appearing in the aura or even in the air around people. So the training in a more electric atmosphere will help you to see much more. And remind yourself, this is something I want. This is something I'm happy is happening. If you have a friend or person you can do this with, then it's even better because it's easier to see a person when they switch on. When their electrics are more bright, it's easier to see. So you're first kind of seeing the first layer, but then look a bit higher above the head and you might see a shape of a hat. Many different kinds of hats, different colors, and it's good to write down to yourself and draw a little picture of what you saw, what was happening at the time. And you know, if you draw something and you're interested, send it to me and I can happily comment on what's happening.